everybody welcome back to the channel Shayna here sorry for the shaky camera I bumped the chair um, I actually have a different setup today the camera is on the other side of me which I believe Danny suggested to me because I was getting my head in the camera so I feel very weird right now but it's fine we'll get through this so yeah welcome back everybody I'm just realizing I forgot something so I'll be right back I'm actually not really going anywhere because I have some I always have to have like some kind of notes because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget what I want to talk about or not think of anything to talk about so I wrote down random thoughts that come into my head throughout the week um so yeah how is everybody Oh, this page is from Camellia Anglecova's uh, 50 Halloween Mandalas. And I, this one was gifted to me. I, ooh, I'm so sorry. I don't remember who gifted this to me. I want to say it was either Danny or Steph. I think it was Steph, I believe. I do apologize, friends. Um, but this is a buddy color with Danny Buttons, and I am so excited. I It has taken me forever to get to this, so I'm sorry, Danny. But we are here, and hopefully we'll have it done by the, in the next few days for the end of the month. <laughs> so yeah, how is everybody? What are you all working on? I probably should have grabbed my coloring glove for this, but it's fine. <laughs> she says with hesitation. So I hope this is okay for you. Having the camera on the other side on my left side, I feel like my left hand is gonna like really be blocking even more than usual. So let me know in the comments below, friends. I feel like my weeks are getting like less and less eventful. So I really don't know how long this coloring chat will be, but we'll see. Cause I can talk about last week a little bit, even though last week I'm kind of forgetting. <laughs> Because I, um, I didn't do, like, a normal color in chat last week. I did the fall questions, which was a really a lot of fun. Um, but I'm trying to remember what I did two weeks ago now. I know Sunday, or uh, I think it was the 20th was a friend's birthday. So I went over to her place and that was a lot of fun. I was there until like 1 a.m. chatting. We were joking cause like, I was the first one there and the last one to leave. And I was like, I'm sorry guys. Like, I don't like to be that person, but um, this was like a mutual friend of my friend, which now I'm like part of that friend group. But anyway, that's a story for another day, I guess. I mean, it's a short story, but <laughs> I work with um, Ashley and then Ashley's roommate, Emily. So it was Emily's birthday and they invited me and it was a lot of fun. And I met a lot of other Starbucks people, uh, but they're corporate Starbucks people. So their operation is a little different than Disney's. So it was a good time hearing them complain about work too, because <laughs> We all just, yeah, complained about customers. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. It was a game night, so uh, I think we only really played one game, which was Cards Against Humanity, because we kept getting distracted and chatting, going down side streets. It was fun, though. I'm really enjoying my gel pens lately. Um, and by the way, well, I didn't steal it, but I was inspired by KP's Inside Out Pumpkin that she showed in one of her recent videos. I think it was, uh, her Instagram favorite, like most liked pictures. Um, and she did, I think it was a Jasmine Beckett Griffith and she did a pumpkin that was like backwards. And I was like, oh, that's a really cool idea. So it's not nearly as impressive as hers, but that's kind of where the, this color combination came from. So I'm using my Cali Art, uh, I almost called this purple, wow, orange gel pen. And then um, I'm just kind of mixing 
what gel pens I'm using, but um, Cali Art is this one, and then the black one's my Tan Mint. I do like both of these sets, but the Tan Mints are definitely a little cheaper. There's a lot of, of them, but they don't glide as well as the Cali Arts. <clears throat> so, we're gonna finish the pumpkins. I want to do this whole page in gel pen, but then I don't, so I don't don't really know what I want to do. This page has stumped me. I keep getting stumped by my buddy colors this month. And next month, I think I'm gonna take a break from somebody. Like, I have a couple lined up that I had lined up previously. But other than that, is nothing against any of you guys. But I'm gonna take a break from Buddy Colors for the month because I don't want to burn myself out on them. So next month is just gonna be me with an exception of the ones that I've already set up and committed to. <clears throat> just gonna be me coloring what I wanna color. Cause I haven't done that in a while and I, I feel like I need to, especially before November, which we will talk about <clears throat> in the future. Cause I don't want to spoil anything or say the wrong thing. So. I was gonna give these um, pumpkins like green stems, but then I was like, that'll look weird next to the ones with black stems. So I'm just keeping it all orange. Hopefully this isn't boring for you guys, but I know most of y'all who watch the chats are here for the chat, not so much watching me color, so should be fine. Well, I was gonna say something else when I started talking about taking a break from buddy colors. I don't know. But yeah, I've really been liking using the gel pens. I got the um, Color Questopia that you guys saw that part of the haul. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, cause coming up for you guys for the rest of the week and the start of October, I'm going to have, of course, my finished pages and then a haul. So it'll be everything that I got in September, not just the Halloween books. And then I will continue the parts of the following haul into October. Did I just say Halloween? Fall slash Halloween? I don't know what I said. I might have just said Halloween, but um, yeah, so I will continue that to do like the full flip throughs and stuff because I got way more than I thought I did this month. So that's another thing that I'm doing next month is I'm going on a no buy because I say this every video. I have so many darn flip throughs to get through that I'm going to need the time. <laughs> To try to get through those. I don't, I'm not gonna get through all of them. I have way too many. But at least then I won't be acquiring books. So we'll see how next month goes and then I might extend it into November. But that'll be when all the Christmas books are coming out and that's gonna be really hard for me to resist. So I probably, I might do like a next month. I'll take a break. I'll allow myself to purchase in November and then take a break in December because that's like Christmas and stuff anyway. So I'll want to be, that was a really big breath. <laughs> so I'll want to be um, like not, like buying for other people, not for me. So I'll take a break then too. Let's see, I'm going to turn the book a little bit. Yeah, I've really been jo enjoying the, um, what I was talking about before that, the Color Questopia books. I wasn't sure about them, um, cause I wasn't sure about like coloring in the lines, like some people do. So when you see my finished pages, you'll see three different attempt, well, different pictures, but different like ways that I did it. So like the first one I did, I just, I colored and then I went back over the, and over the lines. And then the second one I did, I just colored it, didn't do anything with the lines. And the third one I'm still working on and I'm coloring the lines first and then I'll go back in and color the, the image. <clears throat> so um, I'll talk about that in like my finished pages video. 
but I'm really enjoying coloring in the lines and uh, did I bring it out here? I didn't. My silver gel pen that I'm using is the Cali Art one and it's back in my room, but I did one page and it's like way down past where you can see. So I was like, well crap, I'm gonna have to order more pens. So I had ordered a, um, Signo gel pens, like a pack of six. And then I didn't realize how like big they are, which you'll see that in my haul video, but they're pretty thick and like there's quite a bit of ink in there, but I was like six isn't going to be enough. So then I just typed into Amazon bulk silver gel pens and it was like 100 for 20 bucks and they're sergeant art. And I was like, all right. So I bought them. <laughs> so they came today and they're sitting on the table and they're literally just thrown into a box. I'm not counting them to see if I got a hundred. There's a lot in there and I don't feel like counting them. Two of them don't have lids. So we'll see if we find the lids in the bottom of the box, but yeah. So I was like, well, this may have been a mistake, but I'll have them. And I plan on getting more color Questopia books eventually. So they'll be used for sure. But yeah, I didn't expect like the Uniball ones to be so uh, hardy, I guess. <laughs> They're pretty, pretty big around and pretty like thick with two C's. <laughs> Lots of ink is what I meant to say. But yeah, I'm trying to think what else happened last week. I don't think I really did anything else but work. I, didn't ha I haven't had any people, I haven't really been out for guest interaction much at work, so no real stories there. Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, I missed his eyes and nose. Oh my, I'm a mess. I've just been watching videos. Oh, that's what I was going to say too. Well wanted to talk about was the color questopia and um sun life drawing are making their books well i've only seen one for color questopia i've seen a couple from sun life drawing that they're doing black backgrounds instead so you don't have those lines open but for the um sun life books for color questopia i think it's fine because like they do one style of book and then for people who don't like to color in the lines, this black background will be great. But for Sun Life, they have stained glass and then they have the mosaics. And I feel like what sets them apart is that the mosaics have um, the, the white lines. And I feel like when you black them out, it looks exactly the same as the stained glass. So I don't know. I guess that's just my personal thoughts which they're both great and like for just simple coloring yeah but which all of the even coloring in the lines is simple coloring but um I don't know I just feel like they're niching themselves I don't know if that makes any sense but I don't know I feel like I'd be less likely to buy the mosaics if I feel like they look like the stained glass like it I don't know it is different subject matter though so maybe not let me grab some water real quick Ooh. no I did drip on my page ah right there crap I thought I hit the gel pens Dang it, I overflowed this earlier and I thought I wiped it down, but when I pulled it out, it started dripping again. Sugar. Well, I do have paper towels right here that I'm gonna wipe the table, but I'm not gonna wipe the page because I feel like the gel pen will start to come off. Shoot. Oh, I do have a work story that ah, I'm a mess uh, that I don't think I told that I wrote down because I was thinking about it. Um, 
Let's see what to do next. I kind of want to do these skulls. I don't know what color to do them. I don't know if I have like a peachy glitter. Let's see. Or metallic, I guess. I don't know, maybe not. Let's do the corn first. That's loud. Should I do the art ones? Yes. I have a deeper green. Go with this one. Yeah. All right, ow. Um, so our, we updated our credit card system at work property-wide. So like everybody has the chip reader now and like the, um, oh, that is so glittery. Um, tap to pay. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, we've always had Apple pay. I think I don't remember, but, um, we didn't have a chip reader. So we always had to tell people to <laughs> swipe their cards because well, pre COVID, I would just take their cards and swipe them for them, but not now. Um, I probably should have done those two different greens, but I kind of like it. Corn husks aren't even green, but it's fine. Not once they're plucked, at least. Um, oh man, I'm losing trains of thought left and right. Yeah, so our system has been updated, but it's apparently got a lot of bugs because we keep crashing. Um... And not, thank God, not all the registers at once. It's happened. But, um, it's usually just one that doesn't want to function. Um, but I was on that register and it went down the one day. And I grabbed my leader and was like, hey, this happened. And she was like, just give them, give the guests what they want and I'll be right there. And I was like, okay. So I was like, don't worry about it. Like, it's on us today. Um, and she was like, are you sure? Thank you. Whatever. And I was like, yeah. Just, like, your order's already ready. Just go ahead and grab it. Um, and don't worry about it. So then I guess later, because I was on a different position, and my friend, or my friend, she's not really a friend. I don't actually care for this person. But one of my coworkers came back and was like, hey, did you have somebody that, like, you were having register problems and you just, like, gave that? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, they came back and they wanted to pay it forward, so they paid for the couple behind them. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's so cool. But she was like, they just wanted us to let you know that, like, you were so sweet and they really appreciated it. So that was really cool. That was a good story from work. <laughs> Not a complaining one. I don't think I told that story. It was a fun one. Okay, so this is helping. You can see my hair. <laughs> my uh, frizzy hair because I just got out of the shower. But this is actually working for the leaning in because I can lean in and you're not seeing my head. So this might be the new setup. It still feels very weird, but... Yeah, so that was a cool, that was probably three weeks ago now. I don't, I don't even remember when that was, <clears throat> but it made me feel good. It was nice. Doesn't, things like that don't happen very often. And it's not to say that like everybody's miserable. That's definitely not the case. But when you've got one miserable guest who takes it out on you, it just kind of ruins your day. <laughs> And for me, it's just like, you are at freaking Disney World. <laughs> Cheer up. <laughs> like, we had this family come in the other day, and they were just mad at each other and then getting on the cash person, and it was bad. Again, I didn't, like, deal with them directly, so I don't really know what was going on, but it did not look good. I don't know. I'm like, I know it's hot and, like, people are testy, but come on, you're in Disney World. Take a deep breath. Sit down for a minute. Get some food. Bring up your blood sugar and apologize to each other and be happy. 
I don't know. Some people just don't need to come in like the summer months. <laughs> And a lot of them are uh, house holders there too, so I don't know, whatever. House holders are the worst. Sorry if you're a pass holder, but <laughs> they are. We, well, I won't say it because that won't look good, but we have a nickname for pass holders and it's not a good one. And not, again, this is not every single person, but in general, it was worse before um, actually, before COVID, it was worse with the pass holders because they just felt so entitled. And now I think a lot of them realize, like, what they have. <laughs> so, it's gotten better, but there's still those people that feel entitled to everything just because they're a pass holder. I'm like, that doesn't mean anything. Still not going to give you a discount on food and beverage because I actually can't. There's no way for me to do that. Sorry. like <laughs> That's the water. I don't know if I can color over it. Okay, I guess it's dry enough now. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Okay. It did all right. <laughs> see, my hand is kind of blocking, but I feel like even if you were on the other side, it probably would be don't know. I don't know. We'll see. You guys let me know because you're the ones watching. <laughs> I'm a lefty and I can't help it. I just thought this, I'd give this a try. I guess the only other notable thing that I did last week was uh, going live on Instagram. That was a lot of fun. That was really a lot of fun. We, uh, it was a very small group and it was very impromptu, so I am sorry for those of you who would have wanted to join in and didn't know. Um, that is my fault. I should have posted beforehand. But I was going to go live here, and I was like, well, people will see it. Like, they'll, if they're looking, they will see it. Or if they have their, if you guys have your notifications turned on, um, you'll get an email or whatever. Which... I want to talk about YouTube too because they're ticking me off. Um, <laughs> but anyway, well, we can talk about that now, I guess. Um, so I wanted to go live here. So I set everything up. I go to put on the phone and it's like unable to connect or something like that. And uh, so I was like, oh crap, did like our internet get knocked out or something? And then I read it again and I was like, un it said unable to go live or to connect or whatever due to eligibility requirements. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> and it was just for the mobile. So it was just the mobile device. Unless you have a thousand subscribers, you can't go live on your mobile device. And I think that is dumb. Like, why are you, <laughs> what is the point of discriminating against your creators? just because they don't have a thousand subscribers. I think all of this stuff that's for a thousand subscribers um, should be like, the eligibility should be lowered to like 500. Um, because you work your butt off to get to just 500 subscribers and then you still can't do anything. <laughs> like I didn't even have, like I don't have a community tab, which I've talked about before. Um, and I don't mean for this to sound like preachy, but I just think it's annoying. Like, why is a thousand the magic number? I don't understand. Um, and I know I'll get there one day, I hope. Like, that's my goal is a thousand subscribers because then I do have, like, the community tab. And I don't really care about monetization, but it's possible. And, like, I'll try it out, but we'll see. Um, but I really don't care about that. Um, I care about being able to communicate with you guys easier because if you don't follow me on Instagram, then there's no way you'll, you'll know. But yeah, so I was mad about that. <laughs> and I was like, well, crap. 
And then I was talking to Danny because she was the only one I had messaged because I was nervous. And um, I was like, oh, I can go live on Instagram, like from my phone. So I did. Um, and then I reposted it over here. So if you want to see it, it is reposted. Um, and we had a lot of fun. There were only a couple of like Danny and then my roommate and one of our friends and a friend from back home. <laughs> but it was still a lot of fun. I still enjoyed it. Um, so I'm going to try to do that again sometime, but I will try to either post like a small video over here just saying like, hey, I'm going to go live on Instagram at this time. Um, and then also post on Instagram. I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing is just doing like a, a slideshow basically over here to let you guys know like a day in advance or something. Maybe I should do like a couple days. I don't know. How much notice do you guys need? <laughs> so yeah, that was fun, but I was so upset with YouTube. I was like, you've got to be kidding just for the mobile. Like why, why does that make a difference? Like, and I'm not going to, I'm sorry. I'm not going to purchase a webcam just to go live on, on YouTube. No, thank you. They're expensive. Like a good one is expensive and I don't want a crap one. If I'm going to invest in it, I want it to last. So, but it's just not worth it to me to have one. Cause that would be the only use for me. So, cause I have a built in one in my computer, but I can't angle that to get the coloring book, so what's the point? But yeah, YouTube needs some work because I would love, I guess private messaging went away because I'm sure with like all these like YouTubers that are like getting paid buku amounts of money and stuff, like they're probably inundated with spam messages and random crap, but it was nice for us little guys to be able to communicate with each other. So <clears throat> I miss that because I would love to get on and be like, when people subscribe and be like, hey, thank you for subscribing, but there's really no way for me to do that. So it's frustrating. All right, what do I want to do next? I'm kind of focusing on this outer ring because I have no idea what I want to do with the inner one, but I do want to make this crow, but I didn't finish coloring. We're gonna give him like blue purple wings because I feel like when you look at a crow um, in the sunlight, they always have these really cool colors reflecting off their wings. And a lot of the times it's like purple and green, but I just really like black and like this purple blue color together. Sorry, my hand is in the way. Um. But yeah, I really wish I could just like message people on YouTube again, because it was a thing and then it went away and then it came back and now it's gone again. So who knows? But I see that they didn't take the polls away, which I thought they were doing in like July. So I guess maybe they got some pushback on that. I'm gonna make his eye this color too. I feel like all this stuff, is that crow fake or is it dead? <laughs> um, what's the other thing? Oh, I think YouTube is unsubscribing people. So make sure <laughs> that you're subscribed um, to the channel and set notifications if you would like, but um, make sure you're still subscribed if you are. And if you're not, go ahead and subscribe if you like what you're hearing and seeing. Um, but it's very frustrating. And if people are leaving, that's fine. Like, I get it. Uh, I think there's also some fake accounts that follow. And there, I have also blocked people recently. And not, like, any actual colorist or anything. So it's not that. But just, like, I think because I put like adult in my tags and stuff, I get these darn sex sites <laughs> commenting on my videos and I don't want that. So I block them. 
Um, so that might be why if they were like subscribed. I think they're bots. I don't think they're even actual people. I think they're like porn bots. <laughs> Excuse the the word, but I think I honestly think that's what it is. Um, and I'm not a fan of that. So, well, I guess I made a decision at least on the pumpkin head that he's gonna be glitter, glittered. Um, so that might be it too, but I was, again, messaging Danny and I was like, I know I shouldn't feel any type of way about this, but I'm frustrated. Because <laughs> my numbers were going up and I know that's not gonna happen all the time. Like, there's going to be good and bad months, and this month wasn't as great for uploads just because I feel like it's been busy, but I've just been tired because my schedule keeps changing. Um, so, I know last week was not a good week for uploads, <laughs> which is my own fault, so that might have been something to do with it too, but I was like... People, I know people are subscribing because I see the notifications, but then the number would go down, and I'm like, what is happening? So, yeah, that's enough ranting and raving about YouTube, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I was so frustrated with it. I was like, first you tell me I can't do anything, and now you're unsubscribing people, or something's happening, I don't know. But I've heard other YouTubers, like bigger YouTubers, talk about it too, that, um... YouTube is, has this glitch again or whatever that people are getting unsubscribed when they don't actually unsubscribe. So I don't know if it's because if you're not watching like every single video or something, I, who knows? I'm just speculating at this point, but that could be the case, I guess. Oh, you really can't see anything because I'm a lefty. All right, I do apologize, guys, but at least my head's not in the way. Also, I'm not sure why it looks so foggy on the screen. I literally wiped my camera clean before I started. I always do. So, I don't know. It might just be the light. It is supposed to pour down rain here soon. I'm supposed to go to Disney Springs with my friend. And I was like, so if it's pouring down rain... <laughs> are you still going? And she was like, yeah, because I have to get, I was like, okay, I'll go. Just dress accordingly. So I've got shorts on and I'm going to wear flip flops because <laughs> I don't want my sneakers to get wet. And I'm going to wear um, my rain jacket and take an umbrella. So I should be fairly dry, hopefully, but I'm not going to, I was going to blow dry my hair. And now just sitting here thinking, because I just got out of the shower before I started filming. And uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I will because it'll just go poof when it starts to rain. <laughs> it's already poofy because it is starting to dry. I need a haircut so bad. It's probably, it's been over a year since I've had a haircut, which is actually, it might be over it might be close to two years now, which is absolutely terrible. I am so bad at getting my hair cut. I'm just like, eh, it can wait, it can wait, and then... Now here we are. <laughs> it can't wait. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna make this orange. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of videos. I've been watching a lot of true crime again because I don't know why I'm in that mood. I get in that mood around this time of year, actually. And then last year, I gave myself so much anxiety that I thought somebody was, like, stalking. Yeah, that I probably shouldn't talk about. But, yeah, I was, like, watching way too many serial killer documentaries. And then I don't... I haven't seen him in a very long time. But there's this guy who kind of, like, lurk around the neighborhood on his bike and it kind of freaked me out and the one day I was going to work and I got in the car and I pulled off and he like watched me pull away and it really freaked me out but I'm still here so and I like I said I haven't seen him so who knows but we live in a fairly safe area well <laughs> It's a safe area, but it's a lower income area, I believe. I do believe. I don't know that for sure. Um, 
So, you know, I just, I don't go out at night and, like, by myself if I have to, well, I did the other day. I've confronted my fear and I walked across to the mailbox at, like, 9 p.m. And I was fine. <laughs> but I don't tend to do things like that. I don't really like it. I have no clue what to do. Should I make his arms orange? I feel like I should, because I feel like if I don't, I'm not gonna like it. So we're gonna make his arms orange. So yeah, I'm trying to think of what I watched. Oh, I was listening to um, Peter Mon. I actually subscribed to his booktube channel, which is Peter Likes Books. Um, and he was talking about, so this month in their uh, book club, I've been just following what people are saying on the book club because I didn't get the book in time and all that. So, um, but they did the Chris and Shannon, Shannon, Shannon Watts case, which is absolutely heart wrenching. Um, and I really want to watch like a documentary. Well, actually... Um, Netflix tomorrow uh, the documentary that they did on the case comes out so I don't start work until 1215 so if I get up early enough I'm gonna try to watch it um, because it's just like how does this supposed family man just snap and kill them all it's crazy um, but next month they're doing, so the co-host, not co-host, co-admin or whatever on the A True Crime Book Club Facebook page, they're doing, uh, it's her birthday month, and she's really into, like, mob stuff. So I was like, eh, maybe not. But then I read, like, the, synop the synopsis on the book, and it sounds really interesting. So I'm going to, I bought it. Um, the paperback was $10, so I was like, well, I'll get it. Um, and it's Sal Polisi, who was in, like, The Mob, um, and got, became, like, a rat, basically, and kind of brought down that whole system, which, in all honesty, I, kind of makes me nervous talking about this, I think The Mob is still <laughs> around, I just think that they operate differently, um, and I don't have any reason to believe that, but I just, I can't believe that, like, these families fell and never came back. I just don't believe that. Um, and there were, like, gangs and stuff that are around now. Um, when I was in Chicago at one point, I um, did an intake on someone. Oh, my gosh, look at my hand, guys. It's all glittery. <laughs> I've been pixie dusted. Um... And she was saying, she was talking about her family, and it just sounded like they were in this pretty big gang, and then she never came back. Um, and it kind of, it freaked me out. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I believe that they just operate differently. Um, but definitely, like, the John Gaudis of the world, and all that stuff there. I don't think they're gone. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, if I end up dead, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but I don't have, as far as I know, nobody that I am close with or connected with has any kind of connections to any people like that, but I guess you never really do know, huh? All right, I really wanna do these skulls, but I'm stumped on them. Ooh, should I make them purple? But I wanted to make this ring purple. Should I make them purple? This is hard. This was when um, like doing the live came in handy a lot because, uh, let's do this ring first and then we'll see. Um, I, even with only a couple of people, I was like, I don't know if I like this color, because I was doing color Questopia picture. I was like, it's so bright, but then they were like, use it, and I was like, okay. <laughs> so that was kind of nice, because I actually did get a response when I asked things like that. So yeah, 
it was it was a good time I really want to do it again soon maybe next weekend because I did it because um, my roommate was away and she was like I watched because uh, we were all like laying in bed and I, so she was um, luckily well I mean I don't care if her parents watch but it would have made me feel weird um, but yeah she was watching so that was cool. She was like, I know I could watch your videos, but, and I was like, they're long and I get it, it's fine. <laughs> I do not care. She was like, but the live was fun. So yeah, what else do I have on my little random notes list over here? I feel like, well, this isn't on the list, but I feel like I haven't gotten a lot done for color alongs this month, so I do apologize, or like I keep forgetting to hashtag them. Um, I haven't done barely, oh, I do need to go back and hashtag that one. I try to hashtag color your hoard, um, cause that's a really fun one. And then I know like Nikki's spooky season, but I feel like a lot of my fall pictures that I've colored are not spooky. <laughs> They're just cute. I don't like spooky. Man, these Cali arts are like so glittery. I love it. I kind of do want to do all this in glitter. How fun would that be? Wow, there's a truck outside. He's very loud. Sounded like uh, probably the UPS guy or something. But yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. I literally don't know. It's fine. Oh, coloring. Yeah, I never got to September birds. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I haven't gotten around to hashtagging a lot. <laughs> Fall Frenzy, I've done a few, which is Jamie's coloring mob, and then I don't remember who she's co-hosting with at the off the top of my head. But yeah, oh, I'm so excited for next month, which is like two days from now, but um, Kate's Coloring Haven, and I don't know if Shaleen from the Coloring Book Nook has been confirmed, but um, it's usually them, and they're hosting Carloween which I'm so excited for, because that's Carla Magana. So if you don't know her, go check her out. She's on YouTube, Instagram. There's a Facebook group that I believe Kate runs, um, which I am not in, which I should be in for Carloween at least. I'm gonna sneeze. I feel it. <coughs> Ooh, thank you, excuse me, thank you. <laughs> I'm so used to people saying bless you, I guess. I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a weirdo. Alright. Um, I'm gonna do this little belt on his hat purple. The only thing about gel pens is that when you go over line work, it kind of disappears. <laughs> so that's not always, like, great. It's not always a bad thing. Sometimes it's a good thing. But especially with dark colors, like these lines on his hat just kind of disappeared. All right, so I don't think we're gonna do the skulls purple. I feel like that would be too much purple right next to each other. Alrighty. We just had an idea, so we're gonna try it, I guess. Oh wow, we're already at 44 minutes and my phone is starting to die. So we'll try to get to an hour. Hopefully we don't die before then. We don't die. Um, the phone doesn't die before then. Let's go. Ooh, I do kind of like that. But that'd be too much orangey. So let's take this brown. Yeah, we'll use that for the hat and his robe. I don't know what this is. Is he a scarecrow or is he some kind of monster? 
Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> Scarecrow monster. Oh my gosh, I've also been watching um, Netflix. I watched um, Murder Maps, which I really like. I don't know why I bring my notes because I clearly have enough to talk about on my own. Um, but I get nervous in it, just as com a comfort, I guess. But uh, yeah, I watched Murder Maps, which is, I guess, a British show. Well, I guess it is a British show. They're all British. Um, but they have, I believe, three seasons on Netflix, and it was very good. It talks a lot about, um, well, it's serial killers, but, like, from the olden days, like, af I believe after Jack the Ripper, or at the same time as, um, so yeah, which I also don't know a lot about that, those cases. Um, I know he was never caught. Um, I know they have, like, suspects and stuff, but, wow, I feel like this is gonna take forever. Oh, well. Um, so, I just don't, I don't know a lot about Jack the Ripper. I know, um, there was this show on, I believe it was a and &E or AMC? No, not AMC, that's not a network. Is it? Yeah, it is. That's the network that Walking Dead was on, right? I don't know. Yeah, has to be. <laughs> anyway, anyway, rabbit hole. Um, and I don't know what it was called, but the guy was like related to H.H. H. Holmes. And they were speculating, which I never watched the final episode, but I think if it had been confirmed, everybody would know. Um, they were speculating that H.H. H. Holmes, who was a prolific serial killer in America, um, could have been Jack the Ripper, too, because he, like, disappeared, and then the Jack the Ripper killings, I guess, started. So, they were speculating that, but I never... And because this guy was a relative, the DNA, I guess, would have proved it. So, I don't know what happened with that. But yeah, I also started, um, but then that, those cases led me down rabbit holes of looking into other cases. Like there was one that reminded me of, um, the Black Dahlia. So then I looked that up, which I didn't get very far in that because I was trying to watch the show. So then I clicked off of reading that stuff because I kept having to rewind because <laughs> I kept missing important things. Um, but yeah, Murder Maps was really good. And then I watched, um, no, not watched. Oh God. Oh yeah. And then I watched, uh, which is a totally different thing, but Halloween Wars I started watching. Um, but I watched it as I was going to bed and I fell asleep. And then I, I like woke up to it at like 6 a.m. and was like, oh crap. Well now I'm gonna have to start over because I don't remember <laughs> what was happening. So I'm going to have to watch, not the first episode, because the first episode was just them picking the people. And I just had that on in the background as I was coloring, because then I didn't have to pay attention. Um, and then once I laid down, I was like, I just knocked out. And I was like, oh crap, now I'm going to have to rewatch the whole episode. So, but I have to also catch up with... Um, Halloween Baking Championship because I think I've missed two episodes now because I believe it's on on Mondays and then I also need to well I have to keep on top of the Great British Baking Show I love that show <laughs> it's on Netflix well for you UK people I'm sure it's on the BBC or something like that but for me it's on Netflix and I love that show <laughs> I'm obsessed and uh, I can't wait to watch more of it. We watched the first episode. And my roommate and I watch it together, so I can't watch it without her. Well, I probably could, but we tend to watch it together, so. I love that show, I do. It makes me laugh, like, because <laughs> they're not professionals, but they, they're really good still. Um, 
And I'm like, I would never survive this show, especially the technical challenges that they do. So their second challenge is the technical challenge and they don't, they can't practice it and they don't really know. They just have these very vague directions. So that's a fun show too, if you haven't seen it. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop here because we are at 50 minutes and I think that's good for today. Um, I will keep taking my notes throughout the week, but I really want to try to get this up to you as soon as possible, and it is 12.30 something, and I want to try to get this uploaded and rendered and then uploading to YouTube before I have to leave uh, to meet my friend. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Take care. Stay safe. Um, get in the fall and spooky mood because I can't wait. And I will have some more videos coming your way this week that I hope you guys really like. So yeah, um, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. It really does help the channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. I love to chat with you guys. And yeah, just thanks again, friends. Love you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!